Just because everyone is on holiday doesn't mean the drama will stop. Lucky for us, I guess? Some of the news I'm sharing today came out on the very last day of the year, as if everyone wanted to end 2021 with a bang. Not that we're complaining. So what happened in the last hours of 2021? Now, usually I don't agree with netizens, but this one is kind of funny. On January 1st of every year, everyone, including idols and fans, sleep with one eye open, and you can probably guess why. January 1st marks the Dispatch's annual celebrity couple review that has been going on for a few years now. Netizens even made entire lists about the possible couples that could be revealed this year. But as everyone was waiting on the edge of their seats about which idol couple would be exposed next, Dispatch turned the tables on everyone by announcing a concert? Yeah, I'm confused too. They even posted a trailer and everything. The concert would be celebrating Dispatch's 10 year anniversary and the lineup is straight up amazing too. BTS, TWICE, Seventeen, NCT, Stray Kids, TXT, and in Hype are all expected to perform. And if you think that's suspicious, well, you aren't the only one. Netizens came to the conclusion that this must be a hostage concert, claiming that Dispatch must have threatened the artist to appear if they don't want their scandals exposed. Especially with BTS and TWICE, who didn't appear in any of the year-end award shows, but are suddenly appearing at a Dispatch concert. Netizens wrote, The theme of this concert is illegal hacking, but do they know that what they do to get their scoops is illegal? They honestly spilled. Okay, so we have one artist that escaped the dungeons of YG in 2021. Soloist Onda joined YG Entertainment's subsidiary company YGX back in 2018. She even made a comeback in 2019, but she was basically locked in the basement after that with no plans to come back in sight. So imagine my surprise when on the last day of the year, she announced that she had left YGX months ago. Onda wrote on her Instagram, Closing the year of 2021. I'm so sorry to the fans who are waiting for my song. In the second half of 2021, I left YG Entertainment, and in 2022, I I plan to make a new start in a new place. She said a few more things about her future activities, but I genuinely wish her all the best. Let's see whether more YG artists will follow her path. Everyone in Korea has been against Snowdrop, except for the court apparently. It was even picked as the worst drama of 2021 by netizens. I'm not joking when I say that they hate it. But despite all the controversy, the court ruled in favor of JTBC on Wednesday and gave it the green light to continue airing Snowdrop. A civic group called the Declaration of Global Citizen in Korea filed for an an injunction against JTBC to stop airing the drama, arguing that it portrays the NSA in a positive light and that it implies wrong values that violence by the state can be justified. The injunction was filed on December 22nd, in line with the national backlash that the drama has been facing ever since it was announced. The controversy culminated with a countrywide petition that was aimed towards the Blue House to stop the broadcast of the show and was signed by over 300,000 people. The court dismissed the injunction and even ordered that the group pay for court costs. The court stated, even if no drop is based on distorted history as the Declaration of Global Citizen in Korea insists, it is difficult to believe that the public will blindly adopt the content. It is also difficult to argue that the screening of Snowdrop directly infringes the rights of the group. Something tells me that this is not the end of the controversies that will involve Snowdrop. 2022 is going to be a long year for the cast and crew. Just a few hours after J of Day 6 announced that he would be taking a hiatus from future band activities, JYP came out with their own shocking announcement. The agency said that J will no longer be a part of Day6 or the company, as they have decided to end their contract with him. The company came to this decision after alleged long discussions with him and have decided to respect Jay's wishes to leave. The statement said, Jay, who was a member of Day6 until now, left the team as of December 31st, 2021, and his contract was terminated. And then it was just the usual promise of cheering him on for his future activities. This comes as a surprise to no one, considering Jay's statements over the past few months, but it was still shocking to hear that everything had been finalized. As always, netizens went to online forums to discuss Jay's departure, especially since he's been very vocal this year about how unhappy he was with the fact that he had to take a break and that JYP Entertainment wasn't supporting his solo stuff. According to netizens, this seems to be the right decision for him. A netizen said, looks like his personality doesn't match an idol. Let's live while making the kind of music you want. I hope this is the best decision for him and that he finally feels happy. I wish Jay all the best on his new start. A trainee underhybe saw the end of his career flash in front of his eyes before it even started. Leo, who was best known for being one of the backup dancers for BTS's Permission to Dance music video is also a part of HYBE's Trainee A group who was rumored to be making their debut in 2022. Trainee A on their official YouTube channel released a series of videos of the members participating in rap battles. Among them, the one featuring Leo titled Showdown received enormous backlash for some very problematic lyrics. The lyrics were extremely misogynistic and they were written by Leo himself and he even said he wrote them because he was angry. Understandably, 
Lee, everyone was not pleased and called Leo out on his behavior. On December 29th, the production team for Trainee A posted an official apology on their YouTube account in both Korean and English, expressing their supposed regrets. The team assured netizens that they would be making sure that all trainees, including Leo, have a deeper understanding of diversity and respect, like that shouldn't have been the standard since the beginning. The apology said, We sincerely apologize for failing to recognize the seriousness of the issue and releasing a video with inappropriate content. After having recognized the issue, we have decided to delete the video. We would also like to apologize to everyone to whom we cause pain and distress due to the lyrics in question. We will exercise vigilance to ensure that every trainee, including Leo, fully understands the issues related to diversity and respect so that they can be more mindful of their actions and words. I can't believe grown men have to be told to not write lyrics like that and that they might possibly be found offensive. Leo also issued his own apology which said, As it was a competition, I felt as though I needed to use more provocative words and expressions in order to make an impact. This ultimately led me to make an extremely poor decision in which I feel great embarrassment over. I had absolutely no intention to offend or degrade anyone, but my words and thoughts were very immature and I deeply apologize. The apology has received mixed reactions as always with any kind of apology. While some accepted it as a sign of accountability, many others are still not pleased. The issue that people have with this is that he said he was angry and wrote the lyrics. But even if he was angry, why did he decide to degrade women in his song? One netizen said it best, no intention to offend anyone? As if. Whether Leo will debut after all this or not has yet to be seen, but everyone deserves a second chance, so let's see what the future brings. The end of 2021 was a plot twist on its own. In a very surprising turn of events, j Pac has announced that he would be stepping down from his position as CEO of AOMG and Higher Music. On December 31st, j Pac took to Instagram to announce his decision to his followers and fans. He stated that even if he's stepping down as CEO, he would be staying as an advisor for both labels. Posting in both English and Korean, j Pac wrote, After a lot of thought and taking time to organize my emotions, I've decided to step down as the CEO of AOMG and Higher Music. I know this may be shocking to a lot of people, but I will remain as an advisor for both labels and we will continue to be a family and a crew. I want to thank all the fans that have trusted in me and supported me in all my endeavors, and I hope you guys continue to support AOMG, Higher Music, and I, and all the things we do for many years to come. Before this happened, he made a very vague tweet, making fans believe that this might be the end of his music career as a whole. He wrote, If I ever retire or disappear, make sure to miss me. He even announced that he was launching his own soju company a few days ago, so is this really him retiring from music? Several artists under the two labels came forward with posts regarding the news. Gray wrote, The existence that I always be grateful to enable me CEO Pac. There wouldn't be today's me if there's no him. I will look forward to and support every challenge you'll do. After the announcement, j Pac released a music video for his song To Life. In the video, he shares that this year has been hard for him, one of the hardest, which ultimately led to the hard decision of stepping down from his CEO position. He also shares that he's thankful to his fans for supporting his career and decisions, even though they might not understand them at times. He then thanks his label mates and the people that worked with him. What's more, Jay even completely deleted his Instagram as of January 1st, and it looks like he's low-key over the music industry for now. I'll keep an eye on it so I can give you any updates, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and happy holidays, everyone. Bye!